Dune 2. Overall, I gave it an 8 out of 10, which is high for me. Um, there are lots of problems, though, with it. There's weird tech, which I don't think fully makes any sense. Um, there's forgotten logistics, where they have these massive armies everywhere. I mean, people and weapons and fuel and maintenance. Nope, not a problem. Not a problem. Send it all. No problem. Uh, we've got great houses, which is like this callback to the, I don't know, medieval times. I don't even know. It's, it's like a huge step backwards in social uh, progress. Uh, the economic system is unclear. Like, how do people eat? How do people farm? I've never seen a farm. I've never seen a farm. Um, I've never seen a ranch. Like, where's the cattle? You know? Um, what's What's the... How do people get water? It's just unclear. They can't just keep like killing people and grabbing it from corpses. Um, <laughs> there's there's operations blunders everywhere. Like let's tighten up these operations, people. We got we got to tighten them up. Can't be having all these mistakes. There's terrible tactics. I don't even know what they're thinking sometimes. There's terrible strat strategies planet wide. There's the medieval fighting like problems left and right. But I was immersed. I was feeling it. I was feeling it. So I got I got to give it a high score. Uh, the world felt, felt strange and weird and futuristic and like I didn't know what was going on all the time. I liked that feeling. It looked great. It was acted great. So I got to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, kind of a weird review, I guess. What did you think? <laughs> you gave it such a high score for so many things that went wrong. I gave it a 5 out of 10. <laughs> Super cool visuals, nerd fantasy, the girl falls in love with me. For me, I'm just trying to be like a normal soldier. I'm not even trying to climb the ranks. The girl still loves me. I don't want to do evil, but I'm thrust into greatness. This is this is ticking all the boxes for my nerd fantasy. I love it. However, there is, it was, it's a weird movie. It's a weird movie because there's twice. Twice there was weird timings, and it's it's jarring. I was like, what what is going on here? I was My immersion was broken. So the first time is when you jump from the desert. Paul is sent out into the desert to become a man, to become a Fremen, to to learn how to live in the desert. And and Johnny Johnny goes out there and helps him out. And they're like learning about this water filter. And then bam, we're in a fight. And I was like, what? Did, I guess Paul uh, Paul passed it. I guess right. The second time, the second time this happens, they're down in the southern hemisphere, and Paul is the big, he drinks the the blue liquid from the worm. And then and then Johnny's like, I'm going north. And then we're up in the north and in a fight. So second time it was weird, weird, weird pacing to the movie. Just, but I get it because like you can't have it like drawn out, do another like sandstorm crossing. But also, it was such a big deal to cross the sandstorm, and then from then on, like not a problem. Weird, weird, weird. Also, there's weird tech imbalances, but maybe it's okay because the Fremen and the Harkonnen have different battle strategies, different techniques. But really, the Harkonnen should just be slaughtering the Fremen. Done, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Overall, overall, there's really good drama. So so I feel it. I feel like the the tension. I feel like the importance of the events. And I like how Jessica and Paul rapidly ascend to be these these like um religious leaders. They're like like the, all the people, all the Fremens are just they they fell into the trap. They fell into the trap that the Bene Gesserit set up like eons ago. And also I really like how the Bene Gesserit they they're very good at playing these multiple threads through time. So if Paul doesn't pan out, they got this other guy that doesn't that is ready to be their their chosen person. They got other threads and other planets, and that's exactly right. That's exactly what the Benny Gesserit should do: just have multiple threads running throughout the course of history. Super cool idea, nicely executed, but also weird timing, weird pacing stuff. Uh, but nerd fantasy, I'm okay with it. Ready to talk about the movie? Let's get into it. Let's do it. <laughs> 